Everton come out to make FA Cup history by appearing in their 20th semi-final. They'll be welcomed by some 25,000 supporters from Merseyside. Villa Park, a mass of blue and white, as Evertonians express their allegiance to the side hoping to win three trophies. celebrated their centenary this week and it's only their second semi-final in those 100 years. What a day for these players and for their supporters waiting to greet them. Some 18,000 have come to follow the Hatters, knowing they start as underdogs, but determined to enjoy the day, win or lose. Villa Park, a famous semi-final stadium. And two infectious characters in this match used to play their club football here. Steve Foster, a semi-finalist with Brighton two years ago, knows his chance of leading Luton out at Wembley could depend on how he suppresses Andy Bray. Like Foster, back from injury to the match of the season, that defence has already kept 25 clean shoots behind Mick Harford, who scored six goals in the last four games. Luton field the team, which beat Millwall in the sixth round, which means Gary Parker gets the number 11 shirt, and he's the youngest player in this semi-final. He and number two, Tim Breaker, are both 19. But Nick Koshenko used to say that the semi-final was the most compelling day on the English football calendar. And whether you're a supporter, a player, a commentator, or even a referee, it's a marvellous occasion to be involved. And John Martin of Orton in Hampshire takes charge of an FA Cup semi-final for the first time. Down in white, playing from right to left in the first half. Sunshine now after showers previously. Here's Breaker. Ricky Hill. Number 11 is Parker. Breaker goes forward straight away from right back. Came off Vanden Howe. Turner. Trying to find Steen. Bit of a shove, was it by Steen? Apparently not. He was happy, he held off Donaghy with the kick. It's Turner. And Wajobiak, a mistake by Stevens. And Everton looked jittery. Reed got in difficulties first of all. Harper threatened. Stevens made an awful hash of it. Missed kicking. And then Noir Jovi sent his shot across the goal. It was a... Noir Jovi. He's trying to take them on. Harford. And Noir Jovi's in here. He's still in. Oh, blocked by Gary Stevens, nearly on the line. Noir Jovi can't believe it. He was past the goalkeeper. And Stevens saves Everton. Thomas. Harford on the far side. And here's Hill. And now it's Parker. And Steve's coming in, and Stevens concedes the corner this time. What a dramatic moment in the six yard. And still, well taken by Southall as Harford came in by Jovi's cross. Ricky Hill. That's Parker. What a superb effort. This lad made the important goal in the fifth round. Hopefully 20 until September, and he's got a good appreciation of the game. Thought he might catch Southall out there, didn't he? Just too high. Reed. There's freedom on the left here for Shreedy. Ryan Sharper coming in. Foster's header. 
shot. Dangerous. Duncan Howe still forward, and his shot. Thomas Hill to danger. Sharp. Donaghy. And Bracewell beats Hill, and his shooting Grayson marked on the far side. Across there, he had his hand. Oscar's in there, and Andy Bray was back. Here's Turner. Steen. Turner again. Rajoli! Three times now he's been close. A good cross from Wayne Turner. Rajovi with the header and Southall with the save. But when Luton look back on the first half, three opportunities of one sort or another have come the way of Mecca Nwajovi. Steen. Hill. Looks for Parker. Parker's there. Luton Town just deserved their half-time lead. 